The A380X project has been a wild ride for us. The attention to detail we are paying to this aircraft is really second to none. Hi, my name is Mike. I am the lead texture artist on the A380 project. Today I wanted to take some time to point out some of the details you can expect to see visually in our cockpit. So let's jump in. One of the first things we agreed upon was to have a near one-to-one -one resolution scale across every object in the cockpit. So that means if you were to lay out a grid, you would see this grid as the same size across all the objects. In doing this, we can keep the user immersed in the cockpit uh, to a much greater degree. If one object is off scale, you would notice it subconsciously and it would detract from the experience. So we took the time to ensure the resolution scale on the UV maps are normalized on every texture set that makes up the flight deck. Another feature is that our cockpit is designed in Blender, which is a free and wonderful program which has many modifiers that you can put on an object. So the sim supports exporting from Blender with these modifiers, which is a big deal because we can make precise curves along objects using these modifiers and we can still see the results in the simulator. We have paid very close attention to the geometry of the cockpit, how the glare shield is curved slightly differently on the left side than on the right side, for example. are my best work for sure it is my best work it's the culmination of everything I've learned as an artist for the various flight simulators I've spent maybe 3,000 or so hours working on this project so far and I'm happy to continue working on it in my spare time the textures you see are a combination of different channels which you have to make yourself they are layered on top of one another and the final result is what you see in the sim. Here we can view each channel. The most important one in this simulator is the ambient occlusion map because this map provides the lighting information and it determines the colors uh, and the hues of each color during different sunlight configurations. And if this isn't right, it can make a super nice model look completely awful. Uh, this has taken the most amount of time to get right. It is perfect. The roughness map is another one of these maps which is important. This is uh, the detail map essentially where we get to show the wear and tear and the little details which shine at certain angles. This is the most time consuming part of texturing. It's adding these little details and doing the detail pass. Here we have the palm rest 
controller which has some wear and tear in the appropriate spot where your wrist would uh, rest on that. The various buttons have more or less roughness depending on its real life use and the number of times the pilots would press on them. The reference photos we have are 45 megapixel resolution and I was able to notice how dirty these airplanes actually are. There are many other small details which we leave for you to discover on your own. Here in the community we've also made a clean cockpit version for those wishing to simulate a factory flight or something like that. Uh, we hope to make this option based on livery choice. The exterior also has this level of detail applied to it. Infamous aileron waltz or aileron dance is present in this version as the flight controls are being worked on. Engine wobbling is also modeled and the flight controls are all independently and physically simulated. So 2023 will be a fun year, full of progress, and we hope you will continue to support us in our efforts to make the first completed A380 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have any experience in modeling or programming, please consider joining the team. It's been a great time for me personally, as well as everyone else on the team. Thank you very much for your time and listening to us today. Have a great rest of your day.